we got some bacon cheeseburger wraps coming up folks just cooking up some ground beef and some bacon getting some of that bacon fat in with the beef and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there as well we're going to later season it with a little bit of salt and a bit of pepper as well and that's it also we got ourselves some cheese i got myself some marble cheddar you can use whatever you want we also have some chopped up tomatoes and chopped up pickles you can use whatever you like as well throw onions in there saute them mushrooms whatever you like and we're gonna throw them into some uh, tortilla shells it's gonna be good all right i threw some pickles in there as well fry up with the beef and the bacon it smells so good but i kind of lied about the seasoning I decided I'd throw one more thing in there other than salt and pepper. And I'm talking about none other than Frank's Red Original Seasoning. The one and only Frank's Red Seasoning that you can get for your foods. Frank's, put that shit on everything. This video is not endorsed by Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Let's strain the meat, people. <laughs> I'm a fat boy. First, we start off with cheese. <gasps> Bam! I'm just gonna, let me clean that up. That looks that looks nasty. Nice, nice. Now, I'm going to put a spoon after the fact that I'm on up. You should add some of the beef and chicken filling. Oh, look how good that looks, you guys. Oh my god. I'm talking about. Of course, I cooked up four pieces of bacon. Two wraps, that means two pieces each. Get one right there. Don't judge me, I like my bacon a little chewy. Two right there. Another scoop of filling. Beautiful. And almost there. Some freshly cooked tomatoes. Oh, 
Mmm. Exactly like a bacon cheeseburger would taste. Mmm. I highly recommend you try this. On your own, of course. This won't last long.